Hello friends, last time we saw the theory of data types in R and today we are going to discuss the practical of very first uh, data type and that is vectors. So how to handle vectors in R will be our topic. Now let's start by defining vectors. So let me make some As I told you, if I want to define a factor, we do it by mentioning C and empty parentheses. If I want to mention the different entries of a vector, I'll do here. For example, I want to enter 2, 3 and 4. If I give control enter on the console window, you can see 2, 3, 4. If I want to check class of this, you can see it is a numeric vector, right? Now what happens as I told you a vector should have all the entries of same type. Now for example if I say 2, 3 and I enter Joe, I press control enter and you will see 2, 3 and Joe has been displayed on the console but the difference from above is here 2 is mentioned in quotes, 3 is also in quotes and Joe as it is character it will be in quotes. If I will check class for this. So it will be character. So whenever we have a string value or a character value, it will always dominate. We can also check the length of a vector. I am mentioning the function length. Press control enter and as we have three elements in vector, it will display three. Vectors can also be combined. Let me say A as a vector having two, three and four b as a vector having character values a b and c i'll run them so on the top right you can see the values of a and b so this is the environment part where you can see which variables have been defined now if i want to define a third vector saying vc equals to c a comma b we can do that so in VEC on the top right again you can see that of length 6 2 3 4 a b c we'll check class of VEC that is vectors so it will be always of type character but if I check class of a it will be numeric so again I have tried to demonstrate that when two vectors are combined one of numeric and another of type character then character type will always dominate. Now next is vector arithmetic. During theory part I had told you vector arithmetic takes place member by member. So let's say a equals to is a vector of 1, 2, 3 and 4 and b is of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. I'll do that and I'll say a vector VC equals to A plus B. So you can see here on the top right VECC is also a vector where all entries are 0 and it has also length 4. So what happened? This one gets this one gets added with this minus 1. This 2 gets added with minus 2. This 3 gets added with minus 3 and so on and so forth and as a result we have received a vector of length 4. Now what happened if I have two vectors both of different length and try to add them. Let's demonstrate here. So this vector arithmetic was when we have elements of two vectors of same length. What happened if we have two vectors of different length. Let me say v1 is a vector of length 3 and its elements are 1, 2 and 3. And we have a vector v2 of length 4, 9, 8, 7 and 6. Right? And if I say v3 equals to v1 plus v2. So the first question is will this run? Let's check it out. It had run but it had given me a warning message. So what's the warning message? In v1 plus v2, longer object length is not a multiple of shorter object length. 
it is trying to tell me that the length of both the vectors is different so as that was a warning message there was something a run behind the system and there are some values for v3 so what are the values of v3 let me check v3 and you say control enter so it gives me value 10 10 10 and 7 so how this happen so for the first three points i can understand 1 plus 9 give me 10 2 plus 8 will give you 10 3 plus 7 will give me 10 but how come this 7 is printed on my screen this is because 6 was added with 1 so when the two vectors are of different length then there is something called as a recycling rule the vector which is of longer length its element will be added with the first element of the second vector so this is what we call as a recycling rule now let us discuss about vector indexing let me assume a vector v4 from 1 to 10 so this will define a vector v4 for me of length 10 and will have numbers from 1 to 10 for example if i want to extract or retrieve the fifth element of a vector v4 then we do it by this v4 for indexing we use square braces and the element which we want to retrieve let's say i want to retrieve fifth element control enter the value will be 5 the reason behind is on the fifth position we have 5 let me demonstrate that also so v4 and control enter so on the fifth position you can see 5 if i use negative indexing and i mention v4 minus 5 then all the values except the fifth value in the vector will be displayed you can see value 5 is not printed on my console window so this is vector indexing if i want to retrieve a range of values let's say if i want to retrieve third fourth and fifth we can do that also three two five and three four five will be displayed on your screen if you don't want the number in continuation you can also do that v4 3 to 5 comma 10 and control enter so it will give me an error incorrect number of dimensions so how do we deal with it so when you want to retrieve a value which are not in continuation you need to give a vector for the position you want to retrieve the values let me say v4 and a vector c from 3 to 5 comma 10 control enter you will be able to see 3 4 5 and 10 on your screen so that means if i want to retrieve a value the index are not in continuation and you want to extract that value so you need to use another vector for indexing so this is known as range indexing in r so this was about handling vectors in R and in the next topic we will be discussing how to handle lists in R.